Yeah, ideally, you need a governing council to, because it's a policy formulation uh, body that allows you to actually formulate policies and also that allows management to implement those policies. So they act as the guide, they give you the guidance, they are the ones that are virtually the supervisory body that actually detect, determines policy direction so that you will implement some of these policies, uh, management implement some of these policies for the betterment of not only the institute but Ghana as a whole, because we are all gearing towards or all striving for development. And that is what it does. But all the same, this is not to create the impression that because they were not there, uh, things have come to a standstill. No. We work, the laws are so flexible, particularly things that management can do uh, to keep the institute running. But major policy decisions we cannot take unless you have a governing council that will approve of some of those decisions. And uh, it's, it's, it's going to come. We are confident that it will come very soon. So with or without the council, 22nd September of September 2017, the undergraduate congregation will come up? Uh, you, we did a, we did a graduate uh, a congregation because the executive secretary, the National Council for Tertiary Education, is the regulator, and they stand in in the absence of council. So the executive secretary was here to, as a standing chairman. So we will go through the same process in the event that it is not inaugurated, as the council is not in place at that time. But we are hopeful that maybe before then. We could, but even without it, the executive secretary and NCT has taken that mandate to be the stop gap to deal with it as a stand in to do to graduate students. And